I was making this video today and I suddenly thought, oh my God, look, there is the perfect picture. I wonder if anybody can see it yet. Well, I know we have different heights in lands and some are on top of things and some are in whatever. And when you see mountains and things and there's different plateaus and everything. But this is sea level and the clouds are kind of lower here than these hills or mountains, whatever you want to call them. Look, it's here. So I, I know that some of you are very aware, but I just don't think people are aware enough to realise how close these clouds are. And sometimes you can they'll say people will say, oh it's mist. But it's probably not. So obviously these are peaks of mountains. And you can see the clouds are below the tops of the mountains. Usually clouds will rise up to go over things. Maybe that's why the mountains are here. But surely now you can see how close the clouds really are. I mean, obviously these are mountains maybe, but come on, the mountains are not that high. And you realize just how close those clouds really are. I don't think people realize how close they are. They could have us in fog all the time. Mist, whatever you want to call it. Those clouds, see they're in or on the tops of the mountains. It's not that much of a gap. There's this cloud here. Look at this, look at this one. Look at that. I mean, look at that. Just shows you, obviously maybe this is a higher place. But just look at that. Look how low that one is. It's not on top of the mountain, is it? And again, these clouds are touching these mountains. It's not all the clouds, you can see some clouds are above, but there are times, look how low those clouds are. Now they call that mist, or is it clouds? These are different places. This one's, uh, I think, oh, it's Iceland, that one. Scotland. Yeah, so you see, these clouds are not very high. Look, that one's touching there. Look, look. The people are living below. Look, you can see them. Do they realise that really the clouds are that close? I know it might not be all the time, but look how close, look, it says clouds there. California Clouds Fence Hill. It's only a hill. No, they're saying foggy. much of a gap is there? This is what's so alarming when they're harping our skies. This is what they're doing just above our heads. I mean look how close they are. This is Ink Pen Hill. 
I love this hill. The last place supposedly they hung on woman, but look how close the clouds are. I mean, Inkpen Hill is the tallest um, chalk hill in England and one of the tallest points in England on top of the Wessex Downs, but you can see the clouds are not up in the sky. You can see the clouds are just there. And maybe Ink Pen Hill, well, that's why you can see the, that's the shadow, isn't it? But that's maybe why that hill's there. Because me and James were on there and I said, it's all misty, James, we're in the, we're in the cloud. But you could see the clouds are trying to go over the hill. I mean, that, what's that? Uh, Cloud, mist, haze. But do you see how close they are? I just don't think people realise that these clouds are that close. Amazing bit of footage here. Thank you very much to the channel. I hope they don't mind, but just, you know, this is a drone up. So, how high up are those clouds? Another half a mile? Maybe less? Meters? Feet? Look at that. That looks amazing, that thing there. He's flying past on the ground. Look how close they are. I mean, he's kind of getting a sideway view of the cloud. The drone is kind of level, almost with the cloud sideways. Like I said, it's a bit taller up there. It's like, you know, when you drive up, it's like going up in an aeroplane, but you're up there in moments. Look how close those clouds are. They're really not very far away. everybody watching this video realises how close they can be. I, mean, I don't know what that is. That looks like clouds there. I don't think that's a fire. But you know, if you, <coughs> if you ask people how high up they are, I think they think they're a long way up. But they're not. There it is again, look. So it looks like clouds there. Just look how close they are. Well, maybe people realise now watching this video how close they are. And then they're doing things to them in our, you know, above, look, it's just above your heads. Look how close they are. everybody um, I just thought I would look up some things to talk about today and the first one I see is David Cameron 
for people who don't know, he used to be Prime Minister of the UK and he had to resign because some of his personal stuff he'd not dealt with properly, you know, like he would got shares or a business and you know, whatever it was, so he had to resign. So a few years later after he's resigned for that, you make him Foreign Secretary and now he's out making decisions about Israel and Palestine. This one's about making Palestine into its own estate, whatever. Um, here you are, a bit more information. A state, but it's only a state of theirs. And, you know, think about it. We looked after, or the UK looked after Israel in the Second World War and then turned it into this mess. And it's their mess here. They still own it. It's ridiculous. And it would be a state, not a country. But at least it's probably a little bit further uh, forward that they're included into the uh, United Nations and that, but that's all them anyway. So um, it should have happened years ago, shouldn't it, that they had their own, but it's a state. And I, what's Israel, a country? How can you have a country and then a state next to it? A state of what, a state of theirs? That's what they're saying about Palestine. So we're just going to look at some of the weird things in America. Not that there was that many, not like there was in Alaska. There's a wide variety of fossils, seashells and skulls. They used to be us, and now they're in a cabinet. Anyway, that's a weird picture, isn't it, I suppose? So that's strangest things found in America. So I suppose if that really is a bear's paw, or some animal's paw, then that stuff had to be a bit more liquid. I mean, is that concrete? But anyway, there's an interesting picture there. So again, it doesn't say where it is, but I might look in a minute. But look, look at that. That must have been quite liquid-like or something, or got very hot. I mean, this says 15 weird places to visit in the US, we'll just have a look at a few of them. But I mean, looking at this, so obviously when they say it was discovered in the 1700s, what they really mean is that it was already there existing, everything was happening, and then they took over. That's what it is. It's their realm. So they can then say, ah, oh, because obviously America has castles and other buildings, they're very old. And to fit it all in, it has to be when they discovered America and then it all seemed to be built like there's no machinery, horses and carts. Anyway, we know those stories, the his stories. Of course, Alaska is a part of America right now, which is just crazy, isn't it? When it's up there next to Canada. Um, it didn't come up the other day, but I put a slightly different word in, so maybe that's why. But there you go, look at those caves with those glaciers. Yes, anyway, on to the next one. The wave is a bizarre formation of sandstone that is characterised by the coils that resemble rippling ocean tides. Right, well it just says wave and there, there's, there you go. That's all it says, I think. Let's just go down a little bit more, but I think that's on to the next one. Yeah, that's the end. And the really, really weird thing is that a lot of people, because they only see the, you know, Independence Day and all that, don't realise that before that, the Spanish, the Portuguese and the Mexicans had America. Uh, obviously then England did, but they didn't before that, these people did. Yeah, crazy that that's not really in any history. It's gone, it's past, it was then. But we all want to know the real history. But it was the Romans, they took over. But anyway, on to the next bit. It 
it's a basin and it's all that like, supposedly below sea level yeah so there are sort of more hollow parts of England I think England's a bit like that I asked someone what they thought about when they drove up to Scotland does it feel like you're driving up or does it feel like you're driving down and they said they all said it, it almost feels like you're driving down until you get to near Scotland and then you're driving up again and this is probably why if they said a tsunami came that England would fill up with water because it's a lot lower in the middle of England I'm on a high bit here um, but they don't explain all that so that if you get to Swindon, I've made videos about this, that that's a bit of it, it's like the edge of the um, Grand Canyon. It's not like a whole Grand Canyon, but it's like a bit of one. And of course we're up here and then you drive down this hill, which takes about a mile to drive down. It's a mountain. We're on top of mountains here, but they don't say that. They call them the Wessex Downs. They don't even explain it's much higher here. And this, you know, uh, Mickey told me a story about his friend had a helicopter and when he flew up to Scotland, he felt that the middle of England was ho quite hollow-like. So you're going to get these places. We're on plateaus. And then on to the next bit. So here we are at Wyoming. Um, this hot springs. Yeah, I'm trying to be different. YouTube told me I had to change my video. So I am trying to do different things and a little bit of momentum loss because it wasn't for the whole time but especially probably about the last sort of three four five months or something Mickey was getting all my videos for me you know oh look at this look at this look at this and in the end I go okay we'll make a video out of that and that so he was getting me all my videos and now he's gone I've lost a little bit of momentum and I feel like I've been so abused by YouTube and uh, part of me doesn't want to be there but I put my videos out on here and I put them out on BitChute and Rumble I'm not sure if I like Rumble that much but I like BitChute there's no problems there Very, uh, I just like going on there the people are different than they are here but I, the actual platform and everything's great um, so I'm pleased about that but I've kind of lost a little bit of momentum because Mickey died and quite sure where to go anymore with YouTube down my throat nearly every day deleting videos taking my subs off you know doing all those underhand things I mean Wide Awake told me in a message the other day that he was getting the same and they take your videos off and what was okay for years suddenly oh it's broken our guidelines they can use any law they want it's ridiculous this place isn't about you having a channel and making money it's about making sure people like me don't talk. I mean, I'm too. Oh, well, am I frightened to put videos out now in case they get did? You know, my channel gets taken. I'm just in, in about well seven, eight days on finishing strike, and that nearly crucifies your channel. And and all along, every time I get a couple of subs, they take them off. I get a couple of subs, they take them off. The channel's not growing, not because it isn't growing. I don't even know how many people watch the channel anymore. Uh, but they are just hacking the channel off all the time because they're God, aren't they? And it's not YouTube, is it? Anyway, let's carry on. I'm moaning again. Oh, yes, of course. Hawaii's part of America, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very big, nice tree. It was planted in 1873. I probably planted before that, but anyway. When you first start learning about petrification, you, you think of this time, it's just so long that in the end it's petrified and, you know, a lot of the trees have turned into rock. But then you find out that actually it might only take months in certain places, you know, people have put teddy bears and toys in and it's only taken months for these things to become um, petrified. I, mean, I wonder what quite happened there for the colours in those trees. Anyway, that's the National Park Arizona again. It's quite funny really because obviously these weren't really part of America and neither was Hawaii and uh, Alaska but uh, now they're American countries and they're all very different bits of land aren't they? Thousands of miles. The dunes in California 
Yeah, like they are in Denmark. Yeah, they move across. You don't want to be in their path, though, when they do. They take everything, don't they? But anyway, yes, it's the same in um, Denmark. I've been to the ones in Denmark. Horseshoe Bend. I was thinking that maybe we would see more weird things in the sky or something, but I didn't really find that. But these are quite interesting, aren't they? Oh, it's back to Hawaii now. Devil's Post Pile, California. Glacial volcanic shifts. Yeah. On to the next one. Ooh, that one's quite nice, isn't it? Erosion, sandstone, rainfall, flash floods. It's all quite clean in there, though, isn't it? Wasn't made in a day. Salt. Flats at Utah. Hmm. Oh, yes, Devil's Tower at Wyoming. Aha, that's the end. Well, we might have to go and have a little look at that then. It's crazy, isn't it? It's all a fail. The thing is that people are frightened or worried out there, thinks. Inside their head, they know the truth. So, all this sort of control doesn't work. Because people think different things. Anyway, there's just always so many adverts on these things. We don't want the adverts. Oh, there's another one there. Get rid of the video. There we go. Oh, that's, we've just missed the top bit, which is the Titles of Nobility Amendment. Yes. It's probably just going to be old stuff. 1828. Old ones. 1860. Ooh, 1861 making slavery illegal uh, making slavery legal forever you can see why that one got taken out give spinsters widows the right to vote oh yes because we didn't vote in those days us women did we rename the united states of america to the united states of earth <laughs> well at least it didn't say globe Abolish the United States Senate. Senate. Oh, they should have done though. Well, it's only one party in America. Limit wealth to one million. Golly. Well, they didn't do that one, did they? Outlaw drunkenness. Bring it in. Make sure that they can't do anything but drink and then tell them it's illegal something like that and that's even if it was real because Mickey told me 
that it was all about the alcohol it wasn't alcohol it was fuel for the cars and they turned it into that maybe it was an alcohol but they could use it in cars and um, yeah and that's why it all happened they pretended it was more to do with drink but it wasn't it's was because they could make cheap fuel but that sounds it doesn't it the people were trying to do their own thing and then uh, oh, I think that's the end that's the end uh, the people were trying to do their own thing and then they stopped them again what a stupid law but anyway now we have films about it now instead don't we on the TV by the media and the actors in this video we're going to look up weird monuments well this one somebody has made and is sitting on their property so the slightly shocking statue came as no surprise to his fans yeah field of corn in Dublin Yes, a load of rubbish those things, I haven't even been there that long, haven't they gone or something? Hmm. Well, as large as B, killer B, well it's not there in that one. Oh, there's no pictures. Or maybe they just haven't come through. Run airport runaway graves. Anyway, there's no pictures for those ones, but anyway, Captain James T. Kurtz, future birthplace, Riverside. Hmm. seem to be any picture stops there at those things but anyway maybe you found some of the things in the video interesting anyway thanks very much for watching